What is going on everyone? My name is Andy. Welcome back to another FPL video. In this one, we're talking about alternative chip strategies. And what I mean by that is a lot of us or some of us wildcarded in game week 26. Some people are thinking about free hitting in game week 27. What if you're not doing either of those things and you've still got your free hits and your wildcard left for the rest of the season? When is probably the best time to use them? So that's what we're going to talk about in this video. Do give it a like if you enjoyed it. Hit that subscribe button if you're new around here as well. So we'll start off with free hits options now there's quite a few weeks that you can use these so if you think your team is fine for this week you've still got two left there's still going to be plenty of weeks where they could be viable and it's all going to depend on team setup and stuff like that what what players you've got for the next few weeks right and you can use like a team planner to try and work through that i'll show you mine in a second so one of them would just be to use it in game week 28 or 29 when there are a bunch of double game weeks right one uh, in game week 28 there's three extra fixtures in game week 29 there's three extra fixtures as well and i think it's only newcastle that have doubles in both of those weeks so it's not a case of getting in a bunch of players and they're going to play in 28 and have a double and 29 and have a double it's slightly different right so if i just quickly go to this is my team for example i've already wild carded but in game week 28 uh jimenez uh, sorry all my wolves players um leads as well will double so will my villa players and southampton players too but then when i go through to game week 29 that's kind of flipped obviously those players are all going to have single game weeks and then it's arsenal spurs and liverpool that have double game weeks. so if your team was full of all these players for game week 29 and you didn't really want to get in the Wolves players, etc. for game week 28, then you could free hit or vice versa, okay? Now, the issue with that, right, slight issue with that is, if we come on to the fixtures, this is from game week 28 all the way till game week 33, all four of these teams have a guaranteed fixture in game week 30 where there will be blank game weeks for some Premier League teams. They also have double game week coming up, and a pretty good fixture run apart from Villa, right? So you might not want to go triple Villa because one, what options do you really go for? Ramsey, I mean, Ramsey isn't someone personally. I own him, but he's not someone I really want to play every single week. Coutinho is a good option. Luca Dean, maybe if you trust the defense. But Danny Ying started the last game. People are now worried about Ollie Watkins going forward. There's not a huge amount of options. So Villa, yes, we should have them in our team for the double. Southampton at home and Leeds away is good. And Ramsey is a good bench option. And then they will play Arsenal at home in game week 30. But beyond that, the fixtures are pretty poor. So that, that's one team you've got to look out for. Leeds is a little bit different because the fixture runs really good up until game week 32. Um, and to be honest, after the Chelsea game, it's not that bad either. Um, but only really Rafinha is an option. So it's not like Leeds have got a bunch of players that we're going for. Arsenal and Wolves are a little bit different. The fixture runs are good for a good period of time. The game week 30 fixtures are decent as well. They are two teams that you could look to go for so if you wanted to go for them they kind of play all the way through and so it's okay filling up your team with them and therefore the free hit might not be needed in 28 or 29 that's really going to depend on your team the other the other option is game week 30 now kind of the stuff i've just discussed about fixtures and teams that have games all the way through really comes into play here because in game week 30 there is going to be a bunch of teams that miss out we don't know who they are yet we will know for sure uh, by the game week 28 deadline we know there's going to be at least three fixtures on currently which is Wolves and Leeds Villa and uh, Arsenal and uh, Leicester and Brentford as well now the thing is again just going back to th this graphic if you've got three Arsenal players and three Wolves players and you've maybe got Rafinha as well then that's already seven players that were definitely going to play in game week 30 so why I think well, I think game week 30 could be an option for some people. For the majority of people, if you are trying to target double game week players for 28 and 29, you're probably not going to need the free hit in game week 30. It doesn't mean that it can't be used, but it's probably going to be less beneficial than other weeks. Because if you are not getting players that play in game week 30, you're also probably limiting the amount of double game week players you've got in 28 and 29 if that makes sense so the other one is game week 33 it could be a small double game week so what i mean by that it might not just be one team that's doubling there could be like three or four in that week and depending on how you've got your team set up after game week 30 it might be difficult to suddenly adapt to that because obviously just because a team is doubling does not necessarily mean you want them long term so game week 33 could still be decent it would mean that you're not stuck with kind of bad players so i think if i had two left and i wasn't planning on using one in 27 28 or 29 then game week 33 is probably where i would still be looking to use at least one of them now obviously if you've got one 
you could just save it for that. If you've got two, you still need to find another week to use it. So again, for people sat on the fence, this week could still be a good opportunity depending on how your team is set up. And obviously what I mean by that is if you've got three Liverpool, three Arsenal this week, you know, if they're all outfield players and you're missing six players, you probably should be looking at free hitting this week. A um, couple of other options. So obviously one is game week 27, which I've just spoken about. The other one is game week 36. Now, this will be the next big double game week, okay? So game week 26 is pretty big. There's a small enough one in 28 and 29. Game week 33 might have a, a small enough one as well. And then between game week 31 and 37, there's going to be like some, you know, kind of random double game weeks where there might just be one or two teams doubling. Um, but game week 36 will be the big one where a lot of games get rearranged. So you could use a free hit in that week. And that is when I'm planning to use one because one of the benefits is... For, for a start, it's a long way away. So if I start changing my team up in game week 31, 32, and then suddenly in game week 36, I haven't got enough players, I've got to take a lot of hits. The free hit obviously stops that. And also you can kind of play rotation a little bit as well because if Champions League and European games and stuff like that are affecting team lineups, we might have carried a player all the way through, but on free hit, it might be worth getting rid of him instead. The big downside to using your free hit this week, is of course you can't use another chip. So if you are someone that's thinking about wildcarding after game week 30, then you're probably looking to bench boost in game week 36, and therefore you can't use your free hit. So there there has been like a tendency recently to try and save our chips, save our chips, save our chips. And it's been for good reason, right? There's been a lot of games to rearrange, but at some point you have to use them. So if you're in the camp of uh, a wildcard after game week 30, and bench boost in 36, you should probably think about when you're going to use your two free hits. One will probably be in game week 33, maybe, maybe a different week from 31 to 37, but you've still got another one to use if you've got two. If you've only got one, then obviously um, it's a little bit less of a worry, right? Um, one thing I wanted to talk about as well is kind of wild cards, and I'm going to come on to a few more fixture runs in a second, but your wild card options for me is, is down to two kind of places really to use it you either use it in game week 28 and you pile on players with with double game weeks in 28 and 29 which will also cover you for game week 30 and then you try and manage the rest of the season without it you probably need to think about bench boosting soon the way and again i always refer back right ben krellin on twitter go and follow planet fpl uh, podcast as well james talks a lot about fixture rearrangements and the thinking still is that that game week 36 double will be so big and full of teams that we've most of us have got players from anyway that you'll still be able to bench boost there even if you kind of wild card now. My personal preference though is to get it done so that you're sure because if we get to 36 and you're planning on bench boosting and loads of things go wrong in the kind of eight game or seven to eight game week span in between you're better off probably bench boosting in game week 29. Now, whether or not that's an issue or not, we'll discuss on the wildcard video I do for game week 28. Obviously, the downside is you need to manage 31 to 38 with transfers, which with double game weeks and stuff like that might be tricky. I'm going to show you that in a minute. Um, and obviously, if you've got two free hits after game week 30, then maybe it's less of an issue, right? So if you've got two free hits, you're wildcard in game week 28. You've got two free hits to manage game week 31 to 38. I mean, that's probably doable, right? And obviously, if you do wildcard in game week 28, you will know for sure who is blanking in game week 30. And that is important because if Southampton end up playing game week 30, a lot of people will have Broya, maybe a Livermento on the bench or someone like that, maybe even War Prowse as well. And suddenly you'll be able to get through game week 30 without needing that free hit. Now, one thing to think about when you're deciding on wild card, is how much of a shift in players will we have to do after game week 30? Okay, so if I just come back to my team again, this is my team for game week 28. So I've got three three Liverpool players, three Arsenal players, three Wolves players as well. I've got two, sorry, one from Southampton and two from Aston Villa. That's kind of the core of my team. And there's a Leeds player in there as well. So the things that are interesting to know are, how many more double game weeks are there going to be for certain teams and what does the fixture run look like for other teams as well so i've got a graphic for that I'm, I'm kind of well set up for this video okay so first of all we'll look at best fixtures game week 31 to 35 so for i got this off fantasy football scout on their ticket i mean i put who really cares for norwich because who who does whether they got good fixtures or not we are not going to pile on to norwich players so let's not worry about that so chelsea are on there 
Chelsea got really good fixtures from 31 to 35. So that's something to think about for sure. The other interesting thing, I don't want to go back and forth between graphics too much, but I also came up with a graphic for game week 28 to 33, where these are teams that we might want to kind of pile on to, but they don't, or they probably won't have a game in game week 30. And again, Chelsea are on there as well. I haven't uh, I haven't marked it in red, but that Norwich away game will probably be off. So Chelsea are interesting because uh, as it stands, they've got no double game, but they will have fixtures to rearrange. So they've got good fixtures all the way through. So again, if I come back to my team, is there an issue there that I haven't got Chelsea players? Possibly, especially if they get a really good double game week in game week 28. But then you have to think about the players you'd want from that team. Lukaku, I've got almost no interest in. He's a massive amount of money, and I'm not kind of sure week to week if he's definitely going to start. I really like Rudiger. I would love James or Chilwell, but they're not fit. And whether James is going to be fit by game week 28, I do not know. Ziyech went off injured in the Champions League last night. Mount was on the bench, so he's back from injury. So it's not to say that... They're not options. But if I look at this team, Salah, not going anywhere. Son, not going anywhere. Saka, I'm kind of okay with. I think Rafinha is a good hold as well. And then I've got Ramsey on the bench because I'm mostly playing 3-4-3 most weeks. Where the hell does Mount even fit in or Ziyech? Now, obviously, if the fixture run is as good as you know it's showing, maybe I'll want one. But I don't know if this should worry me about not being able to wildcard after game week 30. That's the kind of point that I'm trying to get across. Man United could be options. But again, you've got to try and fit in Ronaldo or Fernandez or Sancho. Taking out one of the other good players that you've got as well. Wolves, a lot of people have got anyway. So that's not really a big issue for holding your wildcard. And the same with Spurs to a certain extent. Now, they will probably miss out in game week 30. But a fixture run is good now. They have a double game week. And the fixture run is good for the rest of the season. So Spurs are pretty good either way so if we look at this like Spurs run now is Everton then a double they'll probably miss West Ham so you can't have and and, the, and this is where it, like it gets really tricky because of your team if you're going to load up on a bunch of players like Chelsea Spurs Liverpool who are probably going to blank in game week 30 then maybe you need to use a free hit there if you're going to have three Liverpool maybe one Chelsea, maybe one Spurs player like Son or Kane that's five players missing you can bench three anyway you might be able to get through game week 30 without. So that's something to bear in mind, right? So there's kind of lots of options in terms of where to use your wild card. But I'm not convinced that people are going to get screwed over if they don't save it. But there is one other thing to consider, and that is fixtures to rearrange. So there will be more double game weeks than these fixtures because when the blanks happen in game week 30, they will then have to be rearranged. But as it stands, these other teams... There's eight teams with fixtures still to rearrange. So Burnley have got Everton at home and Villa away. Spurs have only got Arsenal at home. Arsenal have got Chelsea away and Spurs away. Villa have got one more, which is Burnley at home. Everton have got Burnley away and Leicester at home. Leicester have got three. So after game week 30, bearing in mind it doesn't look like Leicester will probably have a double game week before that, um, we are probably going to want one, maybe two Leicester players to cover some of these double game weeks. So maybe a Madison plus one other, depending on how long Vardy's out, depending on how long or how much we trust the defence. They could be an option. Again, I don't think Norwich are going to be that much of an interest to us. And then Chelsea have still got two as well. Arsenal at home and Leicester at home. But they will have more because of the FA Cup. So again, if I'm thinking about my current team and if I'm thinking about what people will do on wildcard, in game week 28 i think they'll go for a very similar team for, to this not exactly the same but something similar so suddenly if you look back at this there's no bernie players on this i've only got one spurs triple arsenal which isn't too bad a couple of villa players um, everton none i've got no leicester players either and currently i've got no chelsea players so depending on how those fixtures get rearranged if they get rearranged soon after game week 30 it could be hard for anyone that's wildcard in 26 or game week 28 to then you know shift their their whole team around so it, it's a pretty tricky one the obviously benefit of wildcard in game week 31 32 is you have hopefully more information about rearrangements and the reason that i say 31 or 32 is most teams that are set up well now they probably look okay for game week 31 right so again i'm going to switch back screens hopefully this is easy to follow like this is my team in game week 30 i mean it looks fine right i could play Breuer against leeds bench size and then i've got triple 
Liverpool against Watford. I've got triple uh, Arsenal against Palace. And bearing in mind, I'm going to have transfers before this as well. Um, I've got Son against Newcastle. Jimenez is against Villa. Sars against Villa as well. So my team set out for game week 31. But for game week 32, maybe it's not quite as good. And also, that's not even taking into account all those fixtures that I just spoke about being rearranged. So hopefully you'd have more information. But if you don't, you could delay the wild card until game week 32 and hopefully you'll have a bit more. Obviously, you're also closer to the bench boost in game week 36. So if you are trying to wait until then to use it, delaying the wild card could be decent. I don't think there's much need to kind of save the wild card till game week 35 and literally just set up for the bench boost the next week. I don't think that's enough time to get the full benefits of a wild card. And obviously, you can target players of extra fixtures. So you could just get Madison, even if you bench him for a few weeks, ready for those double game weeks that are going to come for Leicester. Like, they will happen. Um, and also, you can get rid of any deadwood. So any players from kind of the game week 26 to game week 30 period that we're trying to cover right now, if they are no good, or you want to rearrange your squad structure and, and change things around, then you can definitely do that. So there's not really, and I hate to sit on the fence here, there's not really a right or wrong answer. I think one thing we have to be okay with this season is... There's a lot of unknowns, okay? We know there's double game weeks coming. We're not 100% sure exactly how they're going to fall. And we don't know how beneficial saving the chips are. So you have to make a choice, right? I made that choice in game week 26, that wild card and was the better option, and then not triple captain in Salah and triple captain in him in game week 29 instead was going to be more beneficial to my team. Now, whatever happens with the actual points, right? Salah is probably going to absolutely smash it against Leeds, and I might look really stupid, but I felt like that was the right play. It's really hard to know after game week 30 how things are going to fall. It might be that the games get rearranged in a way that we can easily plan we can easily make transfers and therefore the chips are less beneficial but ultimately you're never going to be in a bad position if you've got chips in hand right i'm sure a lot of people that wildcarded in gaming 24 or 25 possibly wish they waited a bit longer i may wish the same thing and someone that wildcards in 28 may wish they waited until game week 31 that is just only something you can do but again just to quickly go back through the fixtures i just feel like right now there's so many good fixtures for the likes of Arsenal, Wolves, like Rafinha, maybe one or two Villa players that you can also cover that game week 30 fixture. That wildcard in game week 28 is not a bad option. But if your team is already set up really well for 26, 28, and 29, then free hitting in game week 27 to get rid of those players that aren't playing or don't have great fixtures could be the way. And then you save your wild card until after game week 31 where you've got some of these players. Maybe you want to get in more than one Spurs player. Maybe you want to absolutely load up on Chelsea players. Maybe you go for Man United players. Who knows how the land will lie. So there's, no, like I said, I'm not trying to sit on the fence. There is no right or wrong answer, but hopefully that was beneficial into where you might use your chip. So free hit people. If you're not using it this week, don't panic. Don't get fear of missing out. There will be plenty of opportunities to use it. But I would just keep in mind that if you're going to wildcard soon, my personal preference is to try and bench boost soon as well. Because you do not want to be going seven to eight weeks trying to get a bench boost squad out for one week and making compromises elsewhere. If that was useful, please do let me know in the comments below. Give it a like if you enjoyed it. Hit that subscribe button if you're new around here. I'll have Game Week Preview back tomorrow where we will talk about, uh, obviously, Game Week 27, your questions with or without free hits. Don't panic. I'm going to cover it all. And then team selection on Friday. I'll see you soon.